Is this good? Am I good? What was your dream job as a kid? I wanted to be a cartoonist. I still love doodling. Let's start that again. Hi, my name is Michel Leduc. I'm Senior Managing Director and Global Head of Public Affairs and Communications. Okay, great. Dynamic would definitely characterize what the world looks like today as an institutional investor. One could say that the golden era um, of investing or, you know, working in across different markets has passed us. Not that it was perfectly certain, say, 20, 30 years ago. What has happened is there's been an erosion um, around a predictable, rules-based global trading order. Things like provisions, detailed provisions um, that lays out market access to various sectors or the principle of most favored nation or national treatment or even dispute settlement mechanisms. Those things still apply, but they're a lot less predictable. Multinationals can't count on them in the same way that we've had in the past. The risk appetite of investors has to begin first and foremost in understanding the specific nature and the type of the risk. So there are various types of risks. For example, geopolitical risk. It's inescapable if you're an investor like CPP Investments that must diversify the fund across all global markets. Because of concentration risk to Canada, we need to expose the fund to some of the largest investment markets around the world. So you can't truly escape geopolitical risk. Understanding diversification for an investor like CPP Investments that has a very long investment horizon. It also has significant concentration risks um, if it is predominantly dependent on contributions, for example, or if you were a multinational that was highly dependent on the shareholder capital of one market, your home market, you need to think through the need to diversify your businesses or diversify your investments in markets all over the world. That's the only way that you could deal with being concentrated to either one sector or being concentrated to one market. Industrial policy has always been around. What has evolved and what has changed significantly in the say, last 10 years has been the motives and the goals of various governments. For example, national security has just become one of the most important considerations for a wide variety of, of some of the leading markets around the world. The other consideration is there's a battle going on between the two largest economies in the world, that that has significant impact on multinationals and on other countries. So it's not so much that industrial policy is a new theme, it is just the goals and the motives that are driving politicians in those markets has changed, including uh, the wide variety of pressures that come from voters or the major stakeholders of each of those markets. The whole concept of due diligence is continuing. So looking at the balance sheet, looking at the strategy, looking at the quality of management will continue to be a core part of due diligence. However, we have to add on different layers, layers to better understanding the implications of geopolitical risk, understanding the implications of national security interests, or what's going on in terms of trade wars between some of the largest economies of the world. So the, the whole ability to understand the risk adjusted returns has significantly changed because of the evolution of industrial policies. The geopolitical situation for multinationals and institutional investors will continue to be highly uncertain, highly unpredictable. We have seen since the rise of populism, say in the last four or five years in many markets, we have seen wars, we have seen the breakdown of supply chains. So of course, with many countries going into elections um, over the next year, there will continue to be a lot of uncertainty and changes, changes in economic policies in some of the largest markets. So we continue to see 
the ability to invest, however, to invest with greater levels of sophistication and understanding and being going into markets with eyes wide open.